Eagle? What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, Father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon. Other glories. My choice is made, Father. Do not hope otherwise. There's nothing for me here. I must go make my name in the world. Just, like, turn away from, like, basically being a king of, over a realm to start all over in England. And you have plundered Fornberg's resources, I see. You leave nothing behind but your honor. You left me no choice. I entered the Alving a prince. I left the son of a Jarl. There are always choices, Sigurd. I will not stand between you and yours, but I do not accept it. <sighs> Seventeen winters ago, I opened my door to you, Eivor. And now, your only thanks is to rob me? I should have left you to the wolves. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. Oh, we got like a bunch of materials. Nice. Uh, four chiggers. Okay. Here goes the men. Take, take a little sit down. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool. Put some muscle into those pools. Ration your strength, Doc. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back routes. All right, here good. we go. Sailing What's again. Course? The sons of Ragnar I feel like I've barely picked up my controller coast. today. It's been all like. Ragnar, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods. Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor, and on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your troubles. I spent a season in the kingdom of Mercy, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all I want to go to Norway know so bad. Plan, the I really want to go there and see the Northern Lights. I don't know about you guys. So to England, glory but I'd love to go up there and see those. To England, Looking like to a glass igloo kind of thing. That was cool. That we just got to the intro. Bake and bake, okay. Oh, it's a cigarette. Oh, Jesus, okay, just like one or two. Um. Just the way she was holding that pipe, like. Like Hermes staff? In a lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, 
and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening, and if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sirka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. Hey. <sighs> citrus flavor's great. It's just a little earthquake, no big deal, no big deal. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Okay, well... First off... That's my grave. You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Walk into town, then use this. Well, that's what we got, okay? Did you get my tea? Oof. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty, minty water. Ew. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Staff. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well... Most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. What was... What was the point of this cutscene? I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. The Avatar machine. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. Then why did you put it on the fridge? You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Well, Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Oh. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Oh, that'd be nice. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals. A passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I... I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team? Maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still. If you want to work with us, so and get to the bottom to the of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. Sean has been busy.
You mind if I put some music on? Go for it. Cool. Here you go. Here you go. Little, little twerky twerk. Nope, okay. That's not music, that's distortion. That's quite nice. Soothing. Let's have a look. My stuff. Get out of here. Anyway, I, I, okay, I'm done anyway, so turn off. Turn off. Oh, it's actually just a button. Sorry, here we go. that it could happen again the two data streams i can't promise it won't i barely understand it myself it felt like two minds fighting over one brain it hurt like a shotgun to the head right there's something about this viking's dna sample that feels dense noisy could it be the staff interfering somehow how do you mean my headaches my temper they started the day i got that thing I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. She's trying, guys. Let's go. Avatar me. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Yeah, let's not do like the long journey to England. Layla, you okay? Sorry, can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and- No, I wanna hear it. 
Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived, I died, and now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. There she is, England. Our new Not home. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. I will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, dig in your oars. All standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Say long. Yes, I'm ready for... This place is heavily guarded. Whatever are these green thumbed fairy folk? Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we are coming? They do not. But well, they will not scoff at our visit. Of the oh. four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there. Okay. Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off. A little Thor, you know. Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Dad. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We can storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cup jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding, once we have settled. Come to you, stop the boats. Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it, somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending Let's the ship. Let's go break some chains. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. All right, we need to use 
stealth it. Best not to draw attention here. won't hide you. Hey, wait! Ah! This chain is huge, and poorly anchored it appears. I might be able to shoot it.
down. Okay, so we can't climb on top of that. Down, get down. Get down, get down. Sigurd, give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dag. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> Have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten well age. The views, right? They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. Ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last! We find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a guard. But if they are foes, then we fight them all. these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! On me! Okay. <laughs> 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 Oi, what's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there, give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, and you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten Norse men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakarout. 
and draw your weapon. Oh! Won't take long. Kill me! That's the wish for that. It feels like home already. Let's go now. I want no more surprises. Right. I'll check the longhouse. Those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. Loving the game. Though. You there! I will Untie say us! Let us walk and we will not hurt you! <laughs> Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant. Not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest speeder. But I ripped their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? Mm -hmm. We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Hastan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. Do we trust them? I mean, they you know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. Yeah. It's like a car mechanic. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. 
both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. Nice. From strangers you already to have friends some common folk in our to village. family. The others have arrived. Come. It's like finding an abandoned mansion and like moving all I have a good feeling about this place. place. I'm like, yep, yeah, it's abandoned, so it's ours now. Honored family, friends, welcome to your new home. such a great game the end right <sighs> couldn't figure it out Norway moved to England lived a nice happy simple life the end fine work a long house to rival any I've seen now come Ranvi has found something I would like you to see Eivor Sigurd I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Raven's Peak. Ravensthorpe. Oh. The village of ravens. Ravensthorpe. Hmm. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Alrighty. Well, Good guys. work, my dear. And what else have Short you found? Notes, notes. Scraps of plants, so old letters, points. a few root. Shall we? I wanna have like uh, a little bit more attack. I just feel like I wanna attack more. What's this? There's a chance. More health. Resistance training, which would be helpful in raids. Assassin damage. More health. Mm. Ability damage. Stun. And stop. That's pretty barbaric. I 
eight damage. That sprint attack would be really cool. How many points do I have? Six? Alright, let's... More health. More light damage. to do the sprinting attack. I think it's just... I feel like that was the way to go. Maybe I should build in up over here next time. Range. Fire resistance. Health. Assassination damage. Eh, we'll just keep building them out. This tree is massive as well. All right. Alrighty, guys. Well, we it made it. some time to decipher the mess and let's, piece uh, it all back together. Let's uh, get out of here. So yeah, yeah, we made it. We made it to England. It's been a great time. Um, I think I'm gonna call it there for today. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching. It's been really fun. I know it's a lot of cutscenes, but I mean. The scenery is absolutely beautiful. We're kind of getting deeper into the storyline. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, if you like this gameplay, make sure you check it out. Absurd American Nerdcast on YouTube. Um, make sure you check out the gameplays, the um, the podcast, and uh, dude, there's there's so much more coming. I'm excited about it. Um, but until next time, life's good, baby. Um, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.